So having confirmed that um, our model fits the data well, um, which are these metrics here, um, the next thing we want to do is to check the reliability and validity measures, okay? So um, or what we refer to as psychometric properties. Now, uh, the composite reliability and Kronberg's alpha coefficients, the composite reliability, we can actually check that immediately in MS. Then the Kronberg's alpha, we need to confirm that in, um, in SPSS. Then the discriminant validity uh, will be established if the square root of the average variance extracted is greater than the correlation of the latent variable in the CFA. So let us check. Um, so let us calculate the validity and, and reliability measures. So I have the plugins here. I have a, a whole lot of this is the older version. This, these are the new ones. These plugins were developed by uh, James Gaskin. So you need to uh, go to Start Wiki. To be able to download that and and then start into your um, MOS. This is MOS version 24 that I'm using here. So you, you need to know the one that you're using and you see the plugins. Uh, we're to give another plugin here I love so much is Pattern Matrix Builder. So if you are done with um, checking the factor analysis, so you can use the Pattern Matrix Builder to um, do a CFA like this instead of drawing it by hand like I did. So I will check these to calculate the model fit measures. Brilliant. And so this is the result. This is the output. And then you can see based on the two references that I, 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 I provided in my study, uh, in my work. So you can see this is this. Um, sorry. The authors. So let's get back to this point. So this is the HTMT analysis, okay? And so you can see there are no warnings for the HTMT analysis. And then you can see the model validity measures, validity analysis, you can see validity concern, no validity concerns here. So I will simply put this, um, copy this, and then insert here my table. Um, so mark this out. So you can call this model validity and reliability measures. Okay. So when you are conducting your study and you simply claim that you have done reliability, Kronbach's alpha, you have done that, that in itself is not enough to prove that your measurement skills are good enough for you to test the hypothesis that you are predicting. All right? So you must have to show that these, things, these, var these values have been met. Okay? So uh, this is the AVE average variance extracted this is the composite reliability so uh, if I want to insert I can actually insert the Kronbach alpha reliability here um, and then in, in this particular place and then run the Kronbach alpha reliability test to see if my to see if my model is doing well let's say Kronbach alpha okay um, all right so so I will insert the value so parental I will go to SPSS run the reliability for, for, for peers this is peers uh, we run it so you can see this is 0 0.949 so I'll come here for peers influence 0 0.949 okay then I'll head over again to SPSS and I'll check that of uh, 
shake that of parental parental when we check that that's 0 0.928 so i will insert that parental 0 0.928 so you can see when you approximate this you will get 0 0.93 almost same with um uh composite reliability value as well okay let me further improve this so the chromax alpha reliability will look well chromax alpha okay so i will check that of uh decision the reliability coefficient for the next which is the decision set them and then i will check that is 0 0.865 so i'm going to check this decision 0 0.865 i will check that of significant order reliability so there is nothing like quoting one non-existing uh chromebacks alpha reliability coefficient that um, you know so you need to check them one after the other this is for significant order and support that is 0 0.918 so i will call significant orders 0.918 so you can see this is almost same with composite reliability uh value okay now i will check that of lights all of them not them out then check that of self efficacy remember self efficacy item number five was dropped um go back to this so you see self efficacy item five was dropped so when you're running your reliability here you don't include it again because it has been dropped so we check that's 0 0.839 okay so that's going to give us self efficacy 0 0.839 so um then the last one um outcome expectations I'll put them down here and then out outcome expectations one to four and then check 0 0.902 so this is zero zero point nine zero two okay so i'm going to name this outcome expectations self-efficacy significant order support peers support uh, this is exploratory decision this is parental support okay so same thing applicable here uh same thing here now these are the correlations these are the correlations okay the relationships between the variables okay relationships between the variables these are the relationships between the variables um let's see what this may not be necessary uh so we can just knock it out um just, just want to make this look beautiful this a little that's PS supports okay so this is exactly how um, your model validity measures uh, reliability measures will look like so so at this point so you can confirm that um, you do not have any validity concern here now that we've met these thresholds um, we can now go on to test a hypothesis that we want to run okay so in the next video next to this i'm going to now pose the hypothesis using these variables and then run the regression analysis or the structural equation modeling right in this same um, MOS interface with these variables here. Thank you.